Actually, I'm honored to be governor. I work at it seven days a week, 24 hours a day. Uh, but in many ways, before being governor, I am a son, I'm a brother, I'm an uncle, uh, and I'm a father. And uh, as, as a parent, as a father, I just want to make sure I'm communicating, especially this last situation, to the people of the state uh, and beyond. This virus has been ahead of us every step of the way. I can't tell you how many quote unquote facts I was told that then changed, right? When the virus started, the virus was coming from China. Everybody was looking at China. Turns out the virus came from Europe and uh, nobody told us. When this first started, if you had the disease and recovered, you then had antibodies and you were immune. My brother had the virus, recovered, so he had the antibodies. We were told, well, then you're immune from getting it again. And we had plans to have people who tested for the antibodies. They could go back to work because they were immune. And the facts changed. You know what? Uh, maybe they're not immune, or maybe they're only a little immune, or they're partially immune. Then we were told uh, children are not affected by the virus. That was the only good news, by the way, in the whole first uh, evaluation. Children aren't affected. Okay, now maybe children are affected, and we just didn't know it. Okay, well, what do we know now? Well, we're studying 100 children from 1 to 21. Okay, Michaela, my daughter, is 22. Well, we only have people up until 21, so she's okay. Yeah, until we have someone who's 22, or 23, or 24. So the facts change. I have done my best to give people the information that I know. But I want you to have the same caution flag that I live with. The facts on this virus have changed, and I believe they will continue to change. So take this all with a grain of salt, and my basic point is do not underestimate this virus. It has beaten us at every turn, and it has surprised us at every turn. Don't take it lightly. Don't underestimate it. I believe the facts will change as we go forward. The more we learn about the virus, the more the facts change, and the worse it gets. There has been no news since we started this where we were, were actually uh, too cautious or too concerned. All the news has been bad, as far as I'm concerned. So with all this information, with all government is doing, hearings in Washington, all this, you know who's going to protect you? You are. You know who's going to protect Michaela, 22 years old? Michaela being informed. Michaela understanding. I like to think with a little advice from a parent, but she discounts 99%, but maybe 1% of the advice communicates. Michaela's graduating from college this year. They closed the college. She said, you know, a lot of people are having parties and they're having uh, graduation light events. Should I go? You know, 22, you can't tell them anything at 22. I couldn't tell them anything at 21, 20, 19. But I said, well, here's the facts. This is what we know. And is it worth, is it worth the risk to do it? And Michaela's made all the right decisions. But every parent, every child, it's your job to understand and protect yourself. And I just urge caution. Because everything I say, I tell you everything I know. But I'm also telling you, there are things we don't know yet. And how do you protect yourself from those things? Just be cautious, be diligent, uh, wearing a mask, wearing gloves, uh, staying away from gatherings. I know they're inconvenient, 
but God forbid, you know, just God forbid. I've talked to too many families who have lost people. I've talked to too many families who lost people who were not supposed to be lost to this virus, right? This started, this was just about vulnerable people, senior citizens, comorbidities. Yeah, but then how do you lose a 40-year-old who had no symptom of anything, right? Children were not affected. Yeah, until children are